Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. All right, so in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to make a quick end screen video animation for your videos in YouTube using Camtasia. All right, so I'm going to show you an example of one that I did for one of our clients named Jerry Banfield. He's got a channel similar to ours, like doing tutorials, and he's an online teacher as well. So this video is a video that you would put at the end. It can be used as an outro, or it can be put in the beginning of your video as well. So I'll play you the video now. This is, it's, it's silent, uh, there's only a clicking sound. And it's basically showing how to subscribe on desktop and on mobile uh, for your YouTube channel. So this is, you know, directing people to subscribe to his YouTube channel via computer or mobile. We also did a Facebook one where you can do a Facebook follow and a Facebook like as well. Now these videos are to show people, you know, how to actually follow and like and subscribe to your stuff so that they'll actually do it. And this one right here is a join button. Um, if you have a certain amount of subscribers on your YouTube channel, you can actually have people join monthly and subscribe to you and actually pay money monthly to support you on your channel. So he has 284 subscribers, so he has that option to allow people to do that. So those are the three videos that I did for him. Let me show you how I did the first one, which is the YouTube subscribe and notifications bell. So here's it right here on the timeline. This is the actual uh, working timeline of what I actually did. So I actually took a screencast recording of myself going to Jerry's channel and clicking subscribe and turning on the bell notification. And this right here, I'm going to just put this down here, this recording is that original screencast. So this is it in its raw form, this is it right here, this is the final version here. But this right here is the raw format. So let me just lower down the volume because I think I was talking while I was doing it. So let me just lower that down. And you can see here that it's completely raw, nothing is edited. And it's just me moving the mouse, clicking subscribe, and then turning the bell notification. So that was a recording. I just recorded that. Then, what I did is I first enlarged the mouse. So what I did was add cursor effects, and I added the cursor spotlight. As you can see right here, there's a spotlight, and I'll go to it right now so you guys can see. I enlarged the mouse here, so you can see that it's larger than it normally is. And I'll do it here on the test one. So I added something like this. And then I went to cursor and I scaled it. So I made this thing a little bit larger so that you can really see it. And I also made the size of the circle a little bit bigger. And I made this fade. There's a, a kind of blackish shadow fade happening over everything. I didn't want it to be that dark, so I actually brightened it just a bit. Now you can still notice the spotlight, so I mean you can make this as dark or as light as you want. I wanted it to be more lighter because I still want people to see Jerry's channel. Then let's go back. I added a zoom function, so you can see that it starts off the whole channel and then it zooms up right to the subscribe and then right to the bell, right? And this whole clip, this whole clip is like six seconds, just slightly over six seconds. And so it doesn't need to be very long. So I did something like this. So first of all, I clipped the top and bottom part. So let me just clip it. I clipped all this stuff out just to make it cleaner, give it a cleaner look. 
I'm just being a little bit rough here. And then I enlarged it. So something like this. Okay. Something like that. And then I added a zoom, which is in animations. And then you basically, whatever area you want to zoom in on, you go to the opposite side. So I want to zoom in on this side. So I need to go all the way over here at the bottom and move this down there. And then I'm going to move this over here. Now, you can see that it created like a green arrow. That is really short because, as you can see when I play it, it's going to happen way too fast. So it's going to be like really fast. I don't want it to go that fast because I want it to be a gradual zoom in. So what I'm going to do is grab the end of the arrow and I'm going to stretch it out just a little bit here. And move it over just a slight bit so that the full arrow is in play here. Now I'm going to play it and it's more of a gradual zoom and then because I want to end it on it being like zoomed up so you can see subscribe and bell notification. So that's pretty much how I did the first part. That was this part right here and he also wanted me to show how to do desktop as well. Now, this is really cool because in the latest version of Camtasia, which currently is 2019 version, it has this thing uh, where you can get new device frames. I believe in the 2018 version you can as well. So you can do this on both versions, I believe. So what I did was I actually did a screencast recording on my phone. And Camtasia actually has a screen recording app um, called TechSmith. Let me just pull it up here. So it's called TechSmith Capture and it's a free app. You just need to have like a Camtasia login which is also free to have and it allows you to do recordings on your phone. So this part right here, I actually recorded this on my phone and then I put it in a device frame. So again, I'm going to go over to the media and I'll show you here the raw footage of my phone. So I'm just going to edit the audio. And then you can see here, I'm actually on my phone. And then I'm on Jerry's channel. And then it's recording, like doing like a screencast recording basically for your phone. And so this right here, this is what I recorded is me subscribing to his channel on my phone while recording it through the TechSmith app. So after I got the recording, you place it into Camtasia and you can see it's, you know, it's a sliver and you want to add device frames on it, which makes it look like it's in a phone. So you want to go to more visual effects, device frame. You want to add the device frame right now. It's going to show it on a desktop but you can actually change it and you can actually download more as well. So I'm going to change it to the generic smartphone. Let's put it to the right. Whoops. Okay. Now it's really tiny right now, so we need to make it really large. And we're just going to expand it out. And it's something like this. That's not the perfect method here, but I'm just doing an example. And then... Um, after I did that, you'll see on the other one, I also did another zooming in on it. So you can see this one right here. You zoom in and then subscribe and then it's also bell notification as well. So that's basically the same thing. So I'm here, I go to animations and I wanted it to zoom and then move this over a bit. Again, it made it really short, the arrow, so I want to stretch that out. Move it over. And then that's basically the zoom up effect. 
in a nutshell. And then I added two small things because it was harder to see it on the mobile version because it's a lot smaller. So if you look closely, I added a little highlighter. So it's just basically a yellow um, box that looks like a highlighter in two spots. So the subscribe area and then the bell notification area. And you can find those in annotations and you head over to blur and highlight and it's this one right here called highlight and you just drag it down and it's pretty much just like a yellow transparent a really bright yellow transparent that mimics a highlighter and then so I placed those two in the strategic spots right when I was clicking subscribe and for the bell notification and then that was pretty much it. I clipped it there at the end. I kept this super short. He wanted it to be super short because he's putting these near the end of the videos when he's speaking, when he's telling people to subscribe and to hit the bell notification. So we didn't want these videos to be very long. In total, both of them are about 14 seconds. This is the final product again. So it looks pretty cool when he's on screen and they're playing behind him and it really shows people, you know, the action of subscribing and hitting the bell notification. So that is how you create a YouTube, subscribe, Facebook like. I mean, you can really do this for anything, any kind of thing. If you wanted to get some SoundCloud followers or whatever, if you Instagram, you can do it for all kinds of platforms. It doesn't have to just be for YouTube and Facebook. So that is how you create a little outro intro using your subscribe buttons, your follow buttons here on Camtasia. So if I was able to help you out at all, please let me know by giving this video a like, a comment, or subscribe. All that would be very much appreciated. And if you want to check out the Camtasia software, you guys can head down to the description below and I will have those links for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.